So the other day, we pretty much talked about how Apple is going through this really weird phase in their life where they're essentially double checking and just kind of making sure whether they should even release the next cheap iPhone or not. Now, this is probably going to be one of the most annoying sagas from Apple. Whenever they go through and release a product and they discontinue it, it's always been kind of weird. I mean, they announced the HomePod and the, I mean, they announced the, you know, wireless charging pad that one time I forgot air power, whatever it was, they discontinued it. That was a really weird thing they did. And, you know, they've done similar things like this time and time again, the 12 inch MacBooks that I really liked so many products. And this is going to be very interesting because for a lot of cheaper iPhones, including the iPhone SE lineup, which is the cheapest lineup from Apple, but not even including that, essentially Ming-Chi Kuo estimated and reported that Apple is having a hard time keeping their kind of cheaper entry level or mid-range iPhones to actually, you know, being sold and whether they should keep them or not. And in this report, Ming-Chi Kuo actually mentioned not only the iPhone SE, but the iPhone 13 mini and the iPhone 14 plus. So these are somewhat cheaper iPhones. I wouldn't really throw the 14 plus in here, but the iPhone SE and the iPhone 13 mini in particular, those products are giving Apple, at least what it looks like, a really hard time because it looks like people really aren't buying them at all. Now, this is where things kind of get a little bit messy. And in my opinion, it's just one of those things where Apple would rather blame the phone themselves rather than, I guess, the price tag or whatever. Because if you consider an iPhone SE, right, the third generation that just came out this year, that is a phone for sure. It's definitely a phone, but that is not a good priced phone. That's not even a cheap phone. There's, you know, so many phones that are probably even a little bit more expensive like this, like a Pixel 6a, that is arguably a better phone and a better budget phone and better cheaper phone than the iPhone SE 3 even though it's more expensive. You were getting more for your value of dollar on that product than the iPhone SE 3. So Apple is just not making a good priced phone. And I would even argue with the iPhone 13 mini at $599, that is still kind of overpriced as well. I think that should probably be like $499 as well as the iPhone 12 being at $499 as well. So those types of situations don't really make too much sense to me because it just seems like Apple is kind of pointing at the consumer and pointing at us and saying like, hey, you know, like why aren't you guys buying these phones? And it's because of the price tag. Apple is, you know, needing to go ahead and kind of revitalize their cheaper phones and in order to do that, they will have to go ahead and start pushing more on their more expensive phones, but also push more on their cheaper phones as well. So I'm going to be keeping my eye out on these things. I mean, I really hope Apple fixes their lineup. If they do end up dropping another, you know, iPhone SE 4 or whatever, I think that would be a great idea. As long as they can keep that price down, if it starts jumping over $550, I think it's definitely going to be a hard sell. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.